Thank you for bringing me here. Everything I say is reflected back at me. That's what I learned here. And I hope I get to say more positive things, good things, or keep my mind silent. That's something I have to learn. That's why I'm here to learn. This is something that we as human beings have been doing for many years, learning from those who have mastered their minds and their bodies and their energies and channeled it into something that's beautiful, that's worth seeing for centuries. I hope I can get an ounce of that and share that with those around me.
So I'm not showing my face because you're not supposed to turn your back uh, towards Lord Buddha. So I'm not going to put my face and talk in front of the camera out of respect. Um, all I have to say is, you know, I don't have words. It's just like, it's very calm, it's beautiful here. It's, yeah, I don't have the words. I think silence is what I find here. Even though it's a room full of chatter, everyone's talking, my mind is very silent here. I don't know how to describe it. My mind is super silent. I think this is what I needed today. It's almost like the Lord Buddha is teaching me so many things, like to rest, to control one's mind against what people say. I guess this is like our world and our reality. The reality is we have many chatters coming towards us from all around. But if I can get to this level, if I can get my mind to center and learn an ounce of what the Lord Buddha wants to share, I think I should have, uh, I would have get a little bit, right, a little bit of knowledge. I was going to tell that guy not to turn his back, maybe he doesn't know. But yeah, if I catch him taking a picture like that, I will tell him <laughs> this is no place for selfie. Um, you can turn, you know, I can turn like this. I can turn towards the I can turn. I can't face my back towards, which is disrespectful. And we wanna, we wanna keep that respect, even if we come from different faiths different places because this is an ancient teaching and this is a work that has taken so long look at the walls I mean look at the cave walls this is someone's place of worship this is someone's place of um, hopes and dreams So it's, I don't treat it as a tourist attraction, I treat it as a local heritage, local religious space, and part of my roots and culture. Somewhere my ancestors must have been Buddhist because I was born here, so, and I know from the teachings that I learned when I was in the US, I was very drawn towards Buddhism for what it has to teach. So I am very blessed. I feel very blessed and grateful to be here today.
there is also writings you can see. What is this going to be? These are their writings. I wonder what is it Singhala? If anyone can read. come from a spiritual place to do something like this you know this is this is from a different place this creative energy the spirituality is very strong so everyone can read this please do I don't know if it's in here but read it into that barrel. So this is cave water. So I'm guessing it's considered sacred, right? That's why it's locked. So this is, I'd say it's sacred water from the cave. And it's very clear. It's very, very clear. Some people have offered their, given their offerings here with flowers. It says don't touch images, which is good. No one should be touching this. This is, this is an art, artifact and it's also a religious place. So I didn't see anyone touch it today, so that's good.
Drop